Hi everyone, welcome to this course on database CLI. It is known as DBCLI on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. My name is Bal Sarma. I am part of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure team. Before I proceed, I want you to go through our safe hardware statement. The agenda for this session is to explain what is DBCLI, where it is applicable to use for Oracle database management activities various options which are supported by dbcli and at the end i would be able to show you a few examples of using this tool so database cli is a command line interface which is available on bare metal as well as virtual machine database systems once you connect to a database system you can use the database cli to perform various activities such as uh, you want to create a oracle database or create a new database home so these are the purposes for using uh, database CLI. One thing to note here is database CLI is not for use on Exadata DB system. So you won't be able to use this uh, DB CLI on Exabase systems. The CLI has to be run by the root user and it is located under opt oracle dcs slash bin directory. And by default, it is passed in the root user's environment. It also maintains log and those logs are known as dcscli.log as well as dcsagent.log and that is applicable with each command output and they are stored under opt oracle dcs log directory. Database CLI commands and most of the parameters are case sensitive so you should be typing it correctly. Uh, few parameters are not case sensitive so you should always look at the parameter description. So new commands are added to database command line interface and other commands are updated to support new features. So database CLI command syntax uh, can be represented as dbcli command followed with parameters where command is a verb object combination such as create database. So another thing you have to keep in mind is user specified parameters are shown within the angle bracket. So for example if you want to show db home id it, it, it in the parameter description you will see in the angular bracket so you have to uh, omit the angular bracket when specifying these values in order to update cli utility you have to use uh, cli update commands and the command looks like cli adm update dbcli so cli adm update dbcli command uh, is not available on two node uh, rack database systems on a virtual machine offering so just keep that in mind So looking at database CLI syntax as well as update commands, uh, so as we uh, see in CLI ADM update uh, DBCLI is going to update the uh, CLI uh, option on uh, these uh, data management platforms. So here hyphen H uh, represents help and J is for JSON output and both of these are optional parameters. You should be updating the CLI to ensure you have the latest patching commands because older database system might not include them. So in order to use, you need to SSH to database system as OPC user. And as I said, you need to uh, also sudo to root user because uh, root is going to uh, use this uh, database CLI commands. For uh, logging, you will be using SSH hyphen I private key, OPC at the red DB system IP address. And then you can do sudo su hyphen that will take you to root prompt. And by root user, you would be able to update the CLI by using CLI ADM update dbcli command. So in the right side, you see it will open up a job details window and that will tell you that uh, DCS CLI is patching here. And once uh, that will be updated, you should uh, be able to verify the updated package. So now let's talk about database CLI uh, database commands. And there are many database operations which is supported through dbcli such as dbcli clone database or create database delete database operation you would be able to describe the database list all the databases for a database home you can modify the database parameters you can use it for a recovery purpose you would be able to register a database or update any uh, parameters with databases so one of the note is use the dbcli's create database command to create a new database you can create a database within a new or existing oracle database home however each database home can only have one database 
So it takes basically a few minutes to create the database. Once you run the dbcli create database command, and you can always track the activity using dbcli this jobs command to check the status of database creation job. Another thing to note is dbcli create database command is available on bare metal database system only. It's not available on a virtual machine uh, DB system. The next point is you must create and activate a master encryption key for any PDB that you are going to create using dbcli. After creating or plugging in a new PDB on a one or two node rack DB system, you can use the dbcli update td command to create and activate a master encryption key for that particular PDB. If you miss, you would be able to see a ORA 28374 message that type master key is not found invalid when attempting to create a table space in the PDB. So in a multi-tenant environment, each PDB has its own master encryption key, which is stored in a single key store, and that is used by all the containers. The link that describes all the supported uh, database command list, which is supported through dbcli. Further looking into uh, a few of the database specific commands, DB home commands are like dbcli create database home or describe db home, delete database home, list and update database home. Similarly for database storage related commands are you would be able to list the db storage which is uh, available on your database system. You can describe them, you can create a db storage or you would be able to delete db storage. Uh, you can deal with the backup commands for creating a backup uh, configuration or you want to see the status of a running backup or schedule a backup. So th these all commands are possible using uh, dbcli. And for further details, you can look into the link below. So there are another important aspect here is to deal with object stored uh, swift commands. So you can basically back up a database to an existing bucket in OCI object storage and you can use dbcli create backup command. So the steps goes as they like create an object storage on the database system by using dbcli create object storage store swift command and you would be creating a backup configuration that is going to refer to that object storage id and the bucket name uh, using backup config command and then you need to associate the backup configuration with the database by using the dbcli update database command so three commands you will be using in order to uh, take advantage of this dbcli and the other commands which are available to manage object storage are create object store swift or describe object store swift and list object store swifts. So now uh, let's take a look at a few of the command operations like how these are done. So first example I'm showing you you want to create a database and you can use dbcli create database command. The syntax uh, will look like dbcli create database hyphen db name you need to specify the name of the database. Then you are going to specify the database home ID, which you will uh, get from the dbcli list db home command. So it, this dbcli list db home command is going to return you the ID for those database homes. So you will pick one of them and then you need to pass the admin password. So once you launch uh, this command, you will be able to see uh, that a job is created and uh, database is going to be uh, created with the name you specify. For checking a status of dbcli list db home, you can always do that dbcli list db homes and it will show you uh, the all available uh, database homes. You can list the databases using dbcli command and uh, simply uh, you have to put dbcli list in databases and it will tell you with respect to each of the database home id what is the name of the database which are associated. So in my case, it is BMS prod or uh, DB11G or DemoDB, which are part of these database homes. And it also shows you what are database versions, whether it's a CDB or uh, what is the shape of that one, what kind of a storage it uh, uses and DB home IDs. You would be able to list the database storage configured uh, using dbcli command and uh, it shows uh, what kind of a storage is in use. So on my database system, I have ACFS storage used as well as uh, ASM storage for uh, databases. So definitely this ACFS storage represents uh, I might have an 11G database on a bare metal system. You would be able to delete a database using dbcli delete command and uh, uh, 
uh, as soon as you will launch that one it takes some some time and then uh, it will come up with the prompt that database is deleted you can create a new database home of uh, any version so using dbcli create db home hyphen v and the version name so that way you would be able to uh, create a new database home so just to summarize we try to understand what are the different uh, features supported using database cli and also understood the applicability of database cli based on a certain use case and for more information you can look at our link below like oci training and certification page as well as the oci hands-on labs page or our learning library which are available on youtube so thanks for watching and i hope uh, this session was useful